Open up those lights. You, John. This is The Takeaway. I'm John Hockenberry. In the 2012 election, you remember. And when I assemble an hour of, of radio, it's going to be, I want you to know this. I think this is important. This is kind of a weird thing about me, but go with me on this. This story you have to hear. We're a show for people who are reading the news every day and then are looking for analysis of those news stories. The U.S. national security team has already issued warnings about the situation in Turkey, where a wave of protests in that country has challenged the popularly elected leader, Prime Minister Erdogan. So much of the show is what lives in John's brain. What I do care about are those those details that just have to do with what you do in that situation. I think we're honest. I don't think we pretend to be what we're not. We want the authenticity of the reporters, so we're we're interested in raw. John, almost all of them were out there for the Proposition 8 and DOMA cases. They were disappointed. They got an affirmative action ruling, but not the one they were waiting for. I talked to a fellow named Skylar Mays. He's 28. He's about to go into the military on active duty and is very concerned. This is a country of incredible contradiction, and on any story, there is no one template that fits all. And so the diversity that we have through our stations, through our listeners, through the reporters that contribute to the program is a great way to examine how that diversity works in America. And I've really appreciated the fact that the takeaway is open to that idea of taking the big national issues, but then looking through a local lens at how that, different like, communities are grappling with these issues. Are classes with he led the team behind this new brain drone and joins me here in the studios of Minnesota Public Radio. I think Radio. one of the things I really appreciate about John Hockenberry is, is that he's a real journalist. John, he comes from a reporting background, and he own. knows that the real story happens on the ground. Joining us now is Elif Batuman, who's been on the ground in Istanbul. What can you tell us about what's happening on the streets, Elif? And having his experience, his depth, his understanding, the way he reads around the subject. He knows how to frame a conversation. I mean, how easy is it to work with billions of dollars? I mean, I, either way, the answer is scary to me. It, it, it's not, it's not easy. It's glad to hear you say that. Our listener component is a huge driving factor in what we do and how we think about content. And we also try to do that with Facebook and Twitter. We get a lot of responses on both. We reach out in social media. The best payoff is when a listener gives us a great idea and we're able to run with it. We don't want to, you know, cut anyone out of the conversation. This okay. is Jillian from The Takeaway. No, how are you? There's a sincerity that we have, I think, with the audience no, and that I think we take them yeah, seriously. Yeah. And there are times when we turn the entire program off over to the listener. What are the incentives that bring you together with your neighbors? Tell us a story. My name is Raul from Miami, Florida. I live in a small townhouse community. We're all friends. All the neighbors know each other by name. We know each other's dogs, each other's kids. We watch out for each other. You know, I think there's magic in what you can do in a short period of time uh, if you have a lot of uh, authenticity, honesty, and intent. And, and people love to go with you on that. I'm John Hockenberry, and this is The Takeaway. Nice work, everybody. Nice work. Where's the ball of M&M's? <laughs> the yellow M&M's. Because yellow is the takeaway color, right?